Welcome to Momentum on the Peachtree Corners Network. My name is Bruce Peoples, and today we're going to talk about local governments and social media. And my guest today is Bob Chadwick, who Hello. lives here in beautiful Peachtree Corners. Welcome, Bob. How are thank you today? You. I'm very well, thank Good. you. Good. Why don't we start off telling us a little bit about yourself and perhaps how long you've lived here in Peachtree Corners. Uh, I live in Peachtree Corners now since 92, 93. Uh, my son was born here, my wife Jody, my son Daniel. Um, I work in the insurance industry, uh, do a little bit of photography on the side, uh -huh. yeah, kind of do a lot of things in the community. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, local government and social media. Um, should local governments, states, uh, cities, um, utilize social media as a means to communicate with their citizens? Oh, absolutely. Um, the old means of communication, such as newspapers, magazines, those type of things, they're they've kind of gone by the wayside. If cities don't keep up, municipalities, governments don't keep up with what's going on, they'll be left in the dust. They're, they won't they won't be able to communicate with their, their audiences. There's a lot of different platforms, some of them we can kind of see here in the background. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about that a little bit. Any particular one uh, social media outlet that you think is best suited for local governments? Not necessarily. I think um, each social media has a little bit of a target market, and I think each one of them has um, got a little different method of communication. What are some things maybe that uh, you know governments can say on social media, or how can they use it? You know, for example, announcing events, uh, events, uh, policies, what they're going to put out there as far as uh, things going on in the community. More than just events. For example, we're building the town center here. Uh -huh. uh, it would have been perfectly appropriate um, any one of the uh, social medias to put that type of an announcement out there. Right, right. That's a big project, multi-use project. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A related topic. Um, you know, some politicians and candidates. Uh, like to utilize social media and talk directly to voters, as they would say, sort of bypass the traditional press. What, what are your thoughts about that and the implications maybe of that? Um, I know at least one uh, of the councilmen here um, does that. I think it's very appropriate. Uh -huh. uh, he gets timely information out to us. I mean, that's the big thing is timely. Uh, if you put it out in the newspaper, the best you're going to do is once a day. If uh -huh. you put it out on the social media, it's, it's instantaneous. It's when you want it out there. Uh, and how you want it out there. Well, what happens if, uh, say, an elected politician um, utilizes a, a city or a state or a government entity website or social media site to kind of say something controversial? Uh, any, any thoughts about that or what the implications <laughs> might be to that? Well, you'd have to define controversial as something that's going to have a controversy with just about anything <laughs> that's put out there. Sure. Um, I mean, I think you want to be kind of neutral about things. Uh -huh. I, mean, I, I don't think you want to intentionally put things out there. Um, that are going to inflame people. Uh -huh. I think that's probably more appropriate to deal with in a one-on-one, face-to-face, a personal meeting type of situation. Yeah. On the flip side, sometimes people post on social media when they get angry mm -hmm. or something happens. You know, say a police officer pulls them over and gives them a ticket that they thought they didn't deserve. Any thoughts on that? You know, how a city might respond to that when a citizen starts saying some very negative things out there on social media? Well, I don't think the, the city or the government should respond on the social media. Uh, uh -huh. I don't think that that's their place. It's not a place, it's a place to um, distribute information. It's not a place to get into big disputes. I mean, it's easy to say whatever you feel, whenever you feel it on social media. Uh, right. Uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily say the same thing or do the same thing uh, if you were interacting with someone face to face. That's true. That's true. It's a little harder to be that negative when you're looking at somebody, right? Yes. And there's a lot of people that sort of hide behind the anonymity of social media. Yes, they do. Okay. So, Bob, you know, uh, I don't know how old Facebook is now, what, 15, 20 years ago? The internet yeah. started sometime in the 90s. Yeah. What do you see as the future uh, going forward in the next five or 10 years? Like the current president has really utilized social media in a very aggressive way, different than past. I don't think President Trump is using social media in an appropriate fashion. I uh -huh. think it's some of the things we just talked about. Yeah. That's not the way a professional person should deal with the public. Uh -huh. um, it's hard to say. I mean, Facebook started it all. Uh, I use Instagram. I started out on Facebook. Uh -huh. um, who's to say what's going to be there next? I mean, uh -huh. It's just really hard to say. But I think the key point is is you have to continue to monitor what's developing and what's changing, and you have to be flexible and, and, and keep up with the times. How important is it to you that, say, someone running for city council um, utilizes social media? Um, I think it's important not only to me but to that person. Uh -huh. um, They've got to get their message across if they want to get elected. They can only yeah. reach so many people knocking on doors. Uh -huh. So it's, it's important to get it out there in the most effective fashion to the people that you want 
to vote for you. Yeah. And do you think more and more voters actually sort of proactively look for what a candidate might be saying on social media, to, you know, so they can make informed voting decisions? Um, I think to a certain extent that they make statements that differentiate themselves. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. but when they have specific plans, specific ideas, those kind of things, I think social media is a very uh, good platform for getting that kind of information across. Right. I think it's raised expectations for a little more details. You know, you can oh. always run and say, I'm for a strong economy, but it's like if you have just an empty paragraph there, people can say, well, what exactly are you for? Well, and I think you're right about that. I think people do expect better communications with social media than they, they might have expected in the past. Right, a little more specific information, which yeah. hopefully will hold our elected officials to be a little more accountable for actually... Uh, yeah, and that's very important. Yes, it is. Accountability is definitely good, and it's amazing how they dodge that a lot. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so, Bob, some candidates are very aggressive using social media and, mm -hmm. you know, and what they say and negative things like that. What are some, maybe some of the implications of that in, in elections, maybe even local elections? Um, I think you can turn off the voters. I mean, the, the people that might have otherwise voted for you um, see things like that. I mean, we, we use Trump as a, as a point a minute ago. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of people like what Trump is doing from an economic perspective. Yeah. But on the other hand, they don't really like him as a person because uh -huh. of, of the fact that he just doesn't really seem to communicate appropriately. Right. And social media makes it a little bit easier to be very negative yes. quickly. Yes. And uh, so there's some risk, perhaps, in overusing it, huh? Correct. To the point where you start turning off voters instead yes. of uh, attracting them. Instead, instead of being a positive message that attracts people to you, it's a negative message that sends people away. Right. Thank you for watching Momentum today on the Peachtree Corners Network. I'm Bruce Peoples, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, Bob.